Hey everyone, just wanted to share with you today's trade um, for a small profit. It wasn't a huge profit because I didn't want to be long a whole bunch of uh, oil going into the weekend, especially with the Iran deal that could be signed by Joe Cl uh, Bill Clinton at any point in time. Bill Clinton, Bill, what am I thinking? Boy, I'm tired tonight. Joe Biden at any point in time. Um, but anyways, here was the trade that I did make. You can see that I sold, I went in and I bought Occidental at the open. It was $1.53. And I bought 300 or three contracts. So I had $459 on the, on the table, basically. When we look at the spreadsheet, um, I didn't want to carry oil I didn't want to carry Exxon options into the weekend. And I didn't want to, I figured I could always buy them back Monday. Um, and I didn't want to carry my 200 shares of Occidental. So I, I felt that I was a little too heavy in my account for all of that oil. Um, and so something had to go. I wasn't going to sell my Oxy shares because I think that they're running to 67. But uh, Exxon, the Exxon options were just there for a trade to make some profit on. And so what I did today was I went in and I sold them at $1.80. I could have held out a little bit longer, but I was out doing real estate transactions um, with a client out of town. And so because I was focusing on them and not being able to focus on the market and trying to maximize the value out of an option trade, I went ahead and just traded it. I had a profit. So um, I sold them for $1.80. I had $1.53 in them. So a 27 cent gain on 300 shares is an $81 gain. Now, I'm teaching myself options. And I'm using the spreadsheets to teach myself options. So another positive trade for the week is always good. If I look at where the spreadsheet is with the... Um, Oil trade, sorry, I use a very archaic. Here's ExxonMobil's action for the day. They closed at 94. They started at 92.48, they closed at 94. You can see that they're all completely red across the board. They strengthened from 0.8378 to 0.8400, and they are 1.0285 with positive greens all the way across the board. They're definitely in a rally. Okay. The mathematical model tells me that they're going to 97 and change next week. So even if everything opens on Monday fine, I don't believe that Joe Biden will sign the Iran deal unless it's Fridays or Saturdays or Sundays so that it's a low news cycle so it just goes underneath the radar, especially with the election coming up. So I don't know that for sure. I just know that the market is, of course, parabolic. It is what it is. Um, but I didn't want to be that long. So that's why I made that trade. You can see that I can always go back in and buy it again because I have more actionable numbers as well, too. I have this confirmed rally here, the white, and I have this move from 0.8378 to 0 0.8400, which I could do the math on and take that here. But I believe that the next move to ExxonMobil is 97. Then looking at the Occidental trade, um, again, we see here across the board that Occidental um, at 65.73 didn't have a whole bunch of move day over day, but that's fine. It's consolidating here. It did print red across the board. So on Monday, our Occidental shares, and if you can see 0.8463, it is super, super strong. One of the strongest stocks out there on the planet. Um, and so that tells us that we should be able to get our 67 trade out of our Occidental shares. Um, and yeah, I could go in and play some options on Monday if I wanted to go in there, depending upon how it opens and all that stuff. But I'm thinking that ExxonMobil is the next is the next one, so that there's more money to be made in ExxonMobil Exxon than what there is in Occidental. And then looking at the... Um, uh, the actual index that the two stocks are in. Again, we've got a strengthening rally, super strong across the board, and 0.8398. So we're doing fine across the board on our on our oil trade. 
Um, that can end at any point in time with Joe. So we have to be very, very cautious with Joe. He will crush us like a bug. So we have to be cautious in this trade. And so the, the index is looking good. The two major stocks in the index that I follow, at least, are looking good. All signs are go. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and accept that gain, focus on real estate. I've got an offer going for tomorrow. I've got another client coming into town tomorrow. And I just had another client from Toronto ask me about an $850,000 property. There's just a lot going on before going on vacation next week. So I'm better off focusing on where all of my money is, um, which is the real estate business, at least going into um, my vacation next week. So I didn't want that exposure going into vacation. I can always play with it on Monday and from the campground. And I'm not going to be watching the spreadsheet because I can't take the spreadsheet with. Well, maybe I could take the spreadsheet with me. But the Internet connectivity at the at the campground isn't that great either. I might just take the whole week off um, and spend the eight or nine hundred dollars that I made this week um, trading options. So. I'm doing fine from the concept of this this teaching process. So just wanted to share with you that trade. I'm going to do the real estate uh, for the week as well, too, video that will be coming up here very, very quickly. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Have a great night. And another $81 gain is another $81 gain.